What's going on? Streets Gotta Eat is back in the building with another video. Shaman Online, Bill Money checking in. What it do, guys? Uh, before we get started on this next video, I just first want to say as we head into 2022, um, that I hope all under the sound of my voice, um, as we head into the new year, um, that you're blessed um, with good health, um, prosperity, in peace and that's from your man on the line again bill money here streets gotta eat um thanks for everybody who's tuned in who's tapped in thanks to everybody who's liked thanks to everybody who's commented and most of all thanks to all those who have subscribed to the channel uh, we greatly appreciate your support If you haven't already subscribed to the channel go ahead and take a moment to smash that subscribe button hit that like button for me and also share this video out to your social media that definitely helps the channel to grow and again I greatly appreciate it so we're gonna get into this story now and this is involving Trey songs um, looks like the last 24 hours um, have been uh, I don't know what to call it. I don't know how you would respond um, to allegations of this nature. Um, but Trey Songs has been accused of rape by basketball player Dylan Gonzalez. And on Thursday night, December 30th, former University of Las Vegas women's basketball star Dylan Gonzalez put the R&B singer on blast, alleging that he is a rapist. Trey Songs is a rapist. Lord forgive me, I couldn't hold that in another year. See you in 2022, Gonzalez told her Twitter and Instagram followers. Now Gonzalez did not specify whether she personally was a victim, but this would not be the first time Trey has been accused of sexual assault. In November, police were investigating sexual abuse claims against Trey Songs following his 37th birthday at a Las Vegas nightclub. However, in that case, no arrests were made. Kiki Palmer previously exposed Trey for his questionable behavior, claiming he secretly filmed her and used sexual intimidation to coerce her into appearing in his 2017 video for Pick Up the Phone. Trey responded to the accusations writing, baby girl bugging, point blank period. Last year, Selena Powell accused Trey of holding her hostage and sexually assaulting her in a hotel bathroom. Trey responded to the accusations in a series of tweets. I usually stay quiet on this. But I feel that in many ways, the movement to fight for the women who actually have suffered harassment and abuse on various levels has been hijacked by those who find it convenient for themselves to come up as they seek to destroy someone's life, he wrote. Trey also shared texts from other women who have accused him of sexual abuse including one Jane Doe who sued him for $10 million for sexually assaulting her in a Miami nightclub. In April, he reached a financial settlement with her, although the amount was undisclosed. Trey Songz tweeted, Y'all remember Jane Doe claimed I sexually assaulted her in Miami? She wants me to pay for her therapy and the rest of her school because of all the trauma she's been through. So that is what's going on in the life of Trey Songs as he heads into 2022. I hope everyone listening to me, I hope that their year is starting off a lot smoother. And again, it's filled with peace, health, and prosperity. Go ahead and smash that like button for me on the way out. Hop down in the comment section, let me know what you think. And again, it's your man online, Bill Money signing off. I will see you on the next video.